Welcome back to Turtleholics. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how turtles reproduce. And while it's pretty similar across all species, I'm going to break it down for aquatic turtles like Penny herself, and then also talk about how sea turtles, how they mate in the wild, and then finally, how tortoises and land turtles mate. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting out with aquatic turtles, the main way that they mate is essentially having the male turtle mount themselves on top of the female turtle. And while it sounds kind of easy, it's not the most smoothest process as you can see in the video below. Sometimes the female turtle will not really want anything to do with it and she'll start maybe trying to like swim away. So if this does happen, the male turtles do have a couple tricks up their sleeve. One of them being this sort of mating call or whatever you want to call it, where they essentially just flutter their claws in front of the female's face for an extended period of time. And eventually, hopefully the female turtle, she is impressed and then she finally does let the male turtle mate with her. But it is pretty interesting because this mating call uh, or this fluttering of the claws is actually also used between males when they're trying to assert dominance between each other. So if they're getting territorial or one of them's trying to you know, go up in the hierarchy of the other turtles, they might actually do this exact same fluttering of the claws to try to intimidate each other. But like I said, it is used in mating and you know they can try to flutter it in front of their face. But also as this video shows, sometimes they'll also try to mount on top of the turtle and then start to flutter the claws. But as you can see here, it's not always 100% success rate. But once a male turtle is lucky enough to find a female to accept his courtship, it's a pretty straightforward process. He just mounts on top of her back area and then here they are, they're doing the business. And it is interesting, male turtles tend to be smaller than females and that goes for a lot of species, red-eared sliders, uh, painted turtles, because the male needs to be smaller to be a little more agile to make this process happen. Now let's talk about how sea turtles mate. And the process is pretty similar to you know what I just described for other aquatic turtles, but there are a couple different variables. Um, and one of those being that since the sea is a lot bigger, a lot of times it can be more competitive if there's you know a lot of males around one female. So a lot of times they kind of have to like fight it out a lot more. And then secondly, sea turtles just tend to get a lot bigger. So the process is actually a little more dangerous and I'll get into that in a little bit. But here's a clip below that's showing how they mate. So essentially the male turtle will also just kind of latch themselves on top of the female turtle. As you can see, he's trying to fight off the other male turtles as he speaks. So he's kind of multitasking. Um, but the reason I say it can actually be dangerous is, as you can see, the male turtle was very tightly grasped onto the female turtle. And unfortunately, a sea turtle, a male sea turtle can weigh up to 300 pounds. So if you can imagine, it's pretty hard for the female turtle to kind of like maneuver once a male turtle latches onto her. And unfortunately, like every now and then, it can actually cause her to drown because she's not able to come up and get air because she has 300 pounds on her back. So just unfortunately kind of like a sad side of mating, um, but just something that is interesting to know. And because of this threat, some female turtles will try to mate like at the top of the water so they have access to air. But as you can see in this video, it's not the most graceful thing and they are still struggling a little bit. And another interesting reason why it could be more competitive for sea turtles is because there's some species of sea turtles that only lay eggs every two to three years. So it's not really like a common occurrence versus some freshwater species like red-eared sliders, they lay eggs two to three times per year. So if there's a male sea turtle or a couple male sea turtles that you know see a female in the wild, they might want to take advantage of their opportunity because they don't know when it's going to happen again. And actually because of this, another interesting fact, some sea turtles or female sea turtles will mate with multiple male sea turtles like at the same time. And then sometimes that actually turns out with different eggs being from different fathers. So just another interesting fact about mating and sea turtles. And finally, let's talk about how tortoises or other land turtles mate. Um, and it's kind of similar to the other processes I've already described, but obviously it's on land. But as you can see in the video below, the male tortoise will kind of just kind of stalk behind the female tortoise. And eventually, if they're lucky, the female tortoise will kind of just let them, you know, get up on top of them and latch onto them. And then as you can see below, this is the result. Um, it's a pretty interesting process. I actually saw it recently when I was at the Bronx Zoo a couple days ago. There are some noises involved, <laughs> as you can see in this video. It's pretty funny. But yeah, that's essentially how tortoises and land tortoises mate on land. And then once the eggs are fertilized after mating, it does depend on the species, but most turtles or female turtles will hold on to the fertilized eggs for a couple weeks and then they will go and create a nest. And just about every single turtle makes a nest on land. And it's pretty cool because as you can see in this video, basically they'll dig a hole with like their back legs um, in the mud or if they're a sea turtle, they'll obviously do this on the sand. And with their back legs, they not only like create a hole, but they also lay the eggs in the hole. And then with their back legs, they actually end up covering up 
afterwards just to help protect the eggs from predators to just increase the chances that the little babies survive. And the incubation period is usually around two to three months. So after that time period, the baby starts crawling out of the egg. As you can see, it is the cutest thing ever. And the mother is actually never in the baby's life. So once the baby leaves that egg, they are all by themselves. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you learned something. And who knows, maybe one day I'll be able to get Penny here a little male tank mate for herself. And with that, me and Penny, we'll see you on the next one.